Hey guys, Kongai here, and today we have the pleasure of watching Visha or Gambit in the new buffed T62A. Not only that, but he is also on the new map Vineyards. Vineyards, Vineyards, Vlinkadink, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, well, it's, it's Vineyards, alright, that's what it's called. Um, and, uh, yeah, he's going to be showing us the new king of DPM here, the T62A. I'm excited about that. I'm also excited about seeing how he plays on this map, this new map, even though <laughs> I won't be playing anytime soon. But watching him will allow you guys to learn something, seeing as I will no longer be obviously showing you guys my re gameplay. So we got to watch other people's gameplay, right? Um, so thanks, Visha, for allowing us to use this. Uh, Vineyards, tomorrow we will have Highway on the channel, again, sent in by Gambit, featuring the T62A, which is pretty cool because this is a buff tank, and I have a feeling this is probably getting played a lot right now. And a lot of people are wondering, should I get this thing? Because a lot of people probably grabbed themselves the 140 over the T62A because I think the popular opinion was the 140 was better. Um, my, I always liked the T62A better, but I know for a fact that opinion was the unpopular one. Uh, but now, now there's, you know, there's some merit to liking the T62A over the 140. So, uh, yeah, let's see what Gambit does here. Go check out his YouTube channel. Go, go subscribe to him. Like, come on, go, go check this guy out. He's posting videos almost every single day, um, and they're always good, great, fantastic replays. So go check him out. Go send him some love and thank him for letting us uh, use his stuff because this is pretty cool uh, that we get to do that. So he puts a shell in the Centurion there, and look at this DPM. Look at this rate of fire. Uh, he he activates his uh, little. What is that? 4.3. It's a small screen. That's a fast rate reload. Holy Toledo. Imagine dropping below 10% health with Adrenaline Rush and Last Stand. Oh my gosh. He's going to be sitting at like a 2.2 seconds reload or something ridiculous like that. Uh, probably more like a 2.8 seconds probably of what he'd be sitting at with, with less than 10% health, um, which sounds absolutely amazing. Now, now that you've subscribed to Gambit, because the link is in the description below, slash Visha, because that link is in the description below. Um, I wish to apologize for the sporadic uploads. Uh, the reason being is because I've been super busy with uh, my book and such that uh, some days I haven't had time. <laughs> Simple as that, and that may be a trend for the next little bit. Um, when I have a chance to upload, I will upload like today and tomorrow as well. I shouldn't have anything to do tomorrow as well. Um, my sister's car broke down, so she asked to use my car, as she has, um, she was supposed to have a meeting yesterday, um, talking about, uh, missions trip to Alaska. I know that's weird, but that's because they're not allowed, of, uh, out, eh, allowed out of the country right now because of the pandemic. The missions trip to Alaska, um, the guy who's gonna come talk, uh, he got COVID! <laughs> on his way here. He's like, well, I'm turning back around. I have COVID. I gotta go home. And so he asked my sister to go uh, meet with the people and talk for him. Be the representative. But her car was broke down, so she's using my car. So she's like, alright, I've got two days where I will not have a car. So, that means I have to just put any kind of driving I need to do for my book, like meeting with bookstores and so on and so forth, on hold. And uh, that means two Two, 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 two videos in a row. Three, actually, if you include yesterday. So that's good. That's great. That's fantastic, right? Um, so good. Uh, but watch what he does to this guy. One. Is he going to do it again? Oh, yeah. He's come back up. Two. It's just, it's just boom. 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 Look at this rate of fire. Before the guy can even retreat, he puts another one. He just put three shells in that guy. And he fired once. Is he going to try that again? Oh, look who's brave. Uh, well, he's dead. Um, just because you're brave doesn't mean you're smart. Being brave can be... Uh, foolish. It can be. 600 or 866 health left he has right now. He, he did some trading, but you know, he took he took the fight to the enemy. Uh, that's what I love about Gambit here. Um, well, typically when I watch a Super Unicom play the game, they're very conservative. Uh, they they let the their team kind of kill themselves for them. So like if I'm a Super Unicom, I'm like, I'm just gonna let my team go and use their hit points for me and I'll just farm the damage. Not Gambit. He gets in the thick of it, and he joins his allies, and he fights side by side with them, and he dies with them. It's great. I love watching him play. He's one of the greatest team players you could possibly have on your team. And he's somebody you'll want because he's not just going to be doing an insane amount of damage. He's also going to be taking the game by the horns and winning for you. It's it's great to have him on the team. Either. He's a cool guy. He's going to kill us. Yes, he's going to put it in. 
And uh, somebody's targeting him. Oh, there it is. Is that still the Death Star? Yeah. Scary stuff. Um, a few of his teammates just died. Alright, Death Star's not looking. He should be able to finish this guy off. Is that the Death Star now? Nope. Nope, there he is. It's, it's so hard to tell nowadays with the with these icons and the, the red. And you notice the damage when you damage people is still red. And the critical hit is still white. But the Okay, so when you critically damage somebody, every tank has module damage. It does. But it's always less than what your alpha actually is. So if you have like a 320 alpha gun, your module damage is probably about 180. <laughs> and yet when people are hitting tracks, like 350, 360 is popping up. I don't know what that number is. People keep telling me, ooh, that's module damage. And I believe you. But that's not the damage you're doing <laughs> with your gun <laughs> to, to the tracks. Trust me. Believe me. That's not the damage you're doing. Oh, and already gets a shell in. Oh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate there. And he's unable to kill him. Um, so he has to use his med kit as he loses a crew member. I don't know which one it was. Invader fire or something. Was it his loader? What is it? Was it his commander? I don't know. But he's got. Who, who is that guy? Is that a super conqueror or a regular conqueror? I can't. I can't. It's a conqueror. Oh, I can look at the top left as well. Ah, uh, it's you know. You know. You know what I mean. You know what? It appearing in the top left is kind of convenient for a watcher as a spectator. I don't mind that. It's like, oh, look, there it is. That's cool. But when you're playing the game and you're tunneled with what's in front of you, it's it's very inconvenient to look to your left and to see that. I mean, you can see in front of you now, but it's still hard to read, especially when the red icons are coming up when you're shooting things. So I'm still hoping they change the font at, li at least a little bit there. Uh, can you put a shell into this guy? Come on, back up. Back up. You know you want to. Ah, uh, he doesn't need to back up. He'll just put a shell straight there. Fire's true. Update 6.0. Accuracy. Everybody's got it. Um, yeah. This is the sniper of the Russians, by the way. It's the most accurate Russian medium. So keep that in mind. Um, is it more accurate than the STG? STG is 0.33 base. I'm not sure what this is point, uh, This is base. I think this is also 0.33 base or 0.34 base. Either way, this is a very, a very accurate uh, machine, especially for a Russian. Now, it's 3 to 4 right now. One of them being artillery, and his medium tank is getting rushed by 268 version 5. He probably doesn't have much, much longer to live. Um, he's getting pinged. Clearly, people are like, he's not doing anything. <laughs> In the fight, man. What are you doing? <laughs> you know, like they do. Uh, but he is doing something, as you can see. Oh, is that what's that? Is that an M103? Everybody is low on health, and he's by himself. So this is possible. 268 version 5, he needs to shoot two or three times. M103 needs to shoot two or three times. Um, then he's got a 60 TP and someone else. Uh, who's the other guy? I don't know. What is a 60 TP? I don't know. What is that? Uh, uh, T-57 Heavy as well. T-57 Heavy. Uh, the T-57 Heavy must be capping the base, right? Or it's the 60 TP. So he's going back to reset. He gets spotted. There's the 60 TP. He misses 60 TP. 60 TP does not return fire, or he did and missed. I don't know which. Regardless, unfortunately, now they know where he is. Um, but it was going to be fairly obvious where he is once he goes to reset, of course. Because, you know, hey, somebody's resetting our base. What do we do, guys? Where could it be? Probably the position where he can reset. So, keeping his eye on, his, on to the right just in case the uh, 60, TP, 60 TP cuts him off. But the 60 TP does not appear to be. Activates his food to get that boost in concealment, boost in rate of fire, and boost in view range. To allow him to spot this guy and hopefully not get spotted in return. There he is, sitting broadside on 425 meters. Probably not going to get spotted here. First shell bounces. And now he's spotted. 60 TP on his right. Oh, 60 TP puts an HE shell into him because, you know, what is skill? Puts another shell on the 57 Heavy. 57 Heavy is now a one-shot. Unfortunately, he's getting these nice low rolls because of the new update. And now he finishes him off and he dis disengages the 60 TP. Can he get underneath his gun here? Yes, he can. 60 TP is advancing. And this is going to be a little bit tricky. 60 TPs can be hard to pen. He loads his heat shells. Now's the time to do it. Yes, he does. Um, but the 60 TP is going to have a strong turret and going to be hauled down and has 8 degrees of gun depression. This is going to be very difficult. There's the 268 version 5. Oh, and the 60 TP shows up and finishes off Gambit, unfortunately there. But not before we can do 6300 on the new map. Very, very, very good. Very good indeed. Very good, very good. Well done, my good sir. But there you go. Gambit pulling out 6300 damage. 7,000 combined on Vineyards, Vineyards, whatever you want to call it. 
Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button. Comment, subscribe. Go check out Space Bennett. Go check out Gambit. Links in the description below. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow when we take a look at Highway. Highway, that's what it is, in the T62A with Vishaw yet again. Take care, everyone. And peace out.